this is a very new system that uh, we've put together for the show. Uh, I think it, it is a world premiere, uh, I, I should say. Uh, so we, we, put, uh, we put the Warmade 2 Blancher uh, system from WB Electronics, a Polish company, on top of our UGV, Mission Master UGV from Rainmetal Canada. The, the partnership, it seems to be a, a natural partnership between the two companies because we have similar vision, we have similar uh, capabilities and the, the relationship is working very well as, as we speak. The goal of this system is to have a fully operational system uh, mission modules because this uh, this mission master is a modular platform so we can interchange modules uh, we have the medevac we have different uh, weapon station mounted on it we even have uh, rocket launchers um, uh, we have uh, communication relays so it, as you see it is a very uh, multifunctional uh, platform and we put uh, now uh, the warmates which are loitering UAVs that can be armed with uh, warheads the advantage of this, uh, this system, we, we see man, many advantages in this system. The UAV gives us the capability to do loitering. They give us the capability, capability to do swarms attack. They give us the capability to multiple hit with surgical precision uh, a target, so a heavy armored target to penetrate the armor. And all this is done through our command and control system from the single soldier with his Argus uh, soldier system. He can control the UGV, he can control and launch the, uh, the, U, the, the war mates. And this is all relayed to the command post, to the command and control system. And operators uh, can actually, in the command post, control the different UAVs loitering in the air. So we, we have a, a, very, uh, a very strong system that allows to keep the troops further back in harm's way. So I think this is going to be a game changer out there. Each war mates are equipped with high definition cameras, so you can actually launch them and do some reconnaissance tasks and then uh, decide on the fly, you can decide the, the mission on the fly and, and uh, change the mission actually on the fly while the UAVs are in the air, up in the air. So it, it, it's very flexible and they are much less expensive than, than missiles. We, see, we actually see a long future between our two companies. Uh, we are starting uh, by developing a full, uh, a full operational mission modules that we expect to, to test by Q3, Q4 next year. So live firing, live, uh, live firing of these, uh, these UAVs from the mission master in complete, uh, in, uh, in um, realistic operational environment. So by, by the end of uh, 2020. And uh, there is a, we see a strong need uh, on the international market, not just for Poland, uh, although we wish, to, uh, we wish to offer the system to Poland, but uh, we've got requests from uh, other countries in Europe and strong interest from uh, countries elsewhere uh, as well in the world. Everything is plug and play. So this is the goal, this is how it works. It has an eight hour autonomy, uh, a 220 kilometers range. Uh, it offers a lot of flexibility to the soldier and it brings a lot of firepower to a single, uh, to, to, to a single soldier, yes.